Hi, I'm Lisa, the Goodwill Gal. Today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate cups. They're super easy to make and they're super delish. So to make these chocolate cups, you're, you can use white melting wafers, dark melting wafers, or both. You can mix them together. And you are also going to need silicone cupcake liners. Would you believe it was so hard for me to find these, but I finally found them at Sur La Table. So if you guys know a easy place to find them relatively inexpensive, I'd love to hear about it and leave a comment for me. So I'm going to use the dark melting wafers today, and I put about 25 in the bowl. Um, I like to work with one cup at a time. But if you want and you know you're not going to be interrupted by kids or phones or anything like that, you could put the whole bag in a double boiler and um, that'll keep it nice and warm and you could work from there. I'm putting the chocolate in the microwave for 30 second increments and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to overcook the chocolate. You'll want to take the chocolate out when you still have little lumps of chocolate because once you bring it out you'll be able to stir it and the lumps will come out and melt with the heat. Now that the chocolate's melted and it's cooled down, I'm going to pour it in this silicone cup. Now that the chocolate's in there, I'm going to swirl it around and cover the liner all the way up to the top. Then I'm moving on to the next liner and I'm going to pour out the excess. Give it a little twirl and move to the next one. So you can see that the small amount of chips that I had melted in the bowl were enough to cover three cups. So a little bit goes a long way. So now I'm going to put these cups in the refrigerator for about an hour. Now that the chocolate is cooled, you just pull the side away from the chocolate. All right, isn't that the cutest little cup? It's just the perfect base for a dessert. Now I'm going to get some vanilla ice cream. Now I've just melted a little bit of chocolate wafers and I'm just going to drizzle some of that chocolate on top of the ice cream. And there it is. So this is a perfect base for ice cream and chocolate. And I also put another one with cream and some fresh fruit. And these are really good if you have a cocktail party and just need finger foods. I'd highly recommend that you make this because you could sit there and just eat it like that. You really don't need a plate. I told you they were really easy to make and it makes for a great base for a lot of different dessert options. You can fill them up with so many things. For more ideas like this, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.